King Charles is unable to remove Prince Andrew from the Crown Estate's Royal Lodge. According to an expert, King Charles cannot exclude his disgraced brother, Prince Andrew, from the Royal Lodge because he lacks the authority to do so. Marilyn Koenig, a royal specialist, told the Express that Andrew's place at the Royal Lodge is safe due to a 75-year lease deal with the Crown Estate. After his grandmother died, the Duke of York took over the lease, paying his own money to pay for substantial renovations to the castle. There is no scandal surrounding Royal Lodge. It does not, it does not belong to the king. He cannot kick him and reel out because the Crown Estate owns it, Connick added. Andrew has a lease on a Royal Lodge for 75 years. The Crown Estate holds the lease. Ah, she went on to say there were lease agreements and he, inve and he invested and he invested his own money to fund major repairs when he acquired the lease after his grandmother died. The property required extensive repairs. Uh, which he paid for. In response to worries regarding Andrew's capacity to pay for the necessary repairs, Connick pointed out that he had income sources. He had. Sorry for the background noise. You know, kids. Um, he had. Uh, Connick pointed out that he had income sources such as a Navy pension and trust assets uh, trust assets from the late Queen Elizabeth and the Queen and the Queen Mother. His ex-wife Sarah Ferguson, uh, who also lives at the Royal Lodge, may help financially as a result of her different business enterprises, according to the expert. Despite attending family functions, Connick clarified that Andrew is unlikely to resume royal activities and patronages. There's nothing wrong with Andrew joining his brother for church or attending a ceremony to honor his parents because, yes, the queen was his mother, she went on to say. Those are family events, uh, but there is no way he will be undertaking royal engagements or returning to his patronages, he said.